He is known for being a Russian literary critic of westernizing tendency. He is recognized for playing a key role in the career of poet and publisher Nikolai Nekrasov. He is Vissarion Grigorievich Belinsky, the most influential of the Zapadnik. Vissarion Belinsky, a prominent figure in 19th century Russia, was a man of intellect and conviction. Born into a society where censorship stifled free thought, Belinsky found his voice as a literary critic. His influence was felt far and wide, particularly among the younger generation seeking social change. Belinsky's role in shaping the career of poet and publisher Nikolai Nekrasov, as well as his contributions to the popular magazine Sovremenik, solidified his position as a leading figure of the westernizing movement. Belinsky's philosophy embraced the idea that society should take precedence over individualism, but he staunchly believed that individual ideas and rights must be allowed to flourish within this societal framework. This put him at odds with the Slavophiles, who advocated for a more traditionalist approach. Belinsky's firm opposition to the influence of Orthodox Christianity further set him apart from his contemporaries. He saw it as a regressive force, instead championing reason and knowledge as the driving forces of progress. His critiques were not limited to literature, Belinsky fearlessly took on autocracy and theocracy, raising his voice against the oppressive systems that governed Russian society. His unwavering commitment to freedom of expression and his unwavering belief in the power of reason left an indelible mark on the intellectual landscape of his time. Vissarion Belinsky was a man of deep emotions and passionate convictions. Born in Sviborg and raised in Kember and Penza, he didn't come from a privileged background but was driven by his self-education and fervor for ideas. Belinsky believed that thinking, feeling, understanding, and suffering were all interconnected, emphasizing the importance of the individual self and its inherent dignity. He vehemently criticized the oppressive systems of autocracy and serfdom, as well as societal issues like poverty, prostitution, and cruelty towards the less powerful. As a literary critic, Belinsky saw literature as a realm of freedom in the repressive era of Nicholas I. He valued truth in literature, which meant not only a realistic portrayal of life but also a commitment to moral ideas. Belinsky believed that literature should awaken a sense of human dignity in the people and challenge the societal injustices that have persisted for centuries. He famously said, the fate of the individual, of the person, is more important than the fate of the whole world. Belinsky's criticism was not just intellectual, but deeply moral, as he sought to bring about positive change through the power of the written word. Belinsky's influence extended beyond the literary world. His call for the end of serfdom was read aloud by Fyodor Dostoevsky at public events, leading to Dostoevsky's arrest and imprisonment. Belinsky's advocacy for socially conscious literature and his belief in the power of individual expression resonated with many, shaping the cultural and political landscape of his time. Today, Belinsky's philosophy reminds us of the importance of our own thoughts, feelings, and understanding. It teaches us to value the individual and recognize the inherent dignity of every person. Belinsky's emphasis on truth and moral commitment in literature inspires us to seek authentic and meaningful expressions of our own experiences. His legacy serves as a reminder that our individual actions and voices can contribute to the transformation of society and the pursuit of justice. In a world where the fate of the individual can often be overshadowed by larger societal concerns, Belinsky's philosophy reminds us to prioritize the well-being and dignity of every person. It encourages us to challenge oppressive systems and advocate for positive change. By embracing our own emotions, thoughts, and understanding, we can actively contribute to a more compassionate and just society, just as Vissarion Belinsky did in his lifetime. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.